Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I'm going to crochet it forward in this video by sharing my summer poncho video. It's actually an all year round poncho because it's made out of cotton. Um, it's also made out of some motifs. Um, this is something new, um, but I could relate to it because you know how I love me some grannies and it's very similar to that pattern. Um, I just made these for my granddaughters. We're going on vacation next week, so I thought they'd be really cute for even a bathing suit cover up so I just wanted to share those with you and let's get started all right so the cotton um, yarn that I'm going to be using are a mixture of sugar and cream and peaches and cream they are both um, a four ply um, yarn and both of them require a 5.0 millimeter hook it is the letter H you're going to need some scissors and a uh, sewing needle. All right, so you want to grab your first color. We're going to start with our magic circle. You can make that any way you want. Um, and then we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This is going to count as our first double crochet and our chain one. We need seven more. So yarn over, insert your hook in the magic circle, pull up a loop, Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That's two double crochet, chain one. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That is three double crochets and chain one. Okay, that's how you make a double crochet. So moving forward, that's four double crochets, chain one. Five double crochets, chain one. Six double crochets, chain one. Seven double crochets, chain one. And our eighth double crochet. And we're still going to chain one. When you slip to join, you want to join in the third chain, not the fourth, because we need that chain one space. We're going to slip to join. I am going to change colors. Um, normally with this motif, this is the time that you change colors. I'm going to make my front first two rounds um, uh, different colors, and then I'm going to make my third round, which is our joining round, uh, the uh, all one color. And that's totally up to you. You can, you can choose your colors. Um, any way you want okay so from here I'm going to slip stitch into our first chain one space I'm going to chain four one two I'm sorry we're going we're gonna to chain three okay this is an increased row so in every chain one space we're going to make two double crochets and we're still going to separate them with one chain so that's one double crochet two double crochet, chain one, one, two, three, four double crochets, chain one, five double crochets, six double crochets, chain one, seven, eight double crochets, chain one, nine, ten, Double crochets, chain one. Oops, I skipped one over here. Sorry about that. I didn't think it was coming out right. So we have one, two. Three, four double crochets. Chain one. Five, six double crochets, chain one, seven, eight double crochets, chain one, nine, ten double crochets, chain one, eleven, twelve double crochets, chain one, thirteen. 
14 double crochets, chain one, and then our last two. 15, 16. So round one had eight double crochets and chain ones in between, and round two has 16 double crochets with chain one in between, and remember that is our um, increase row. So just go ahead and fasten off. Grab your joining color, and the nice thing is this is only um, a three round pattern. I am going to go ahead and make a slip knot and join my work, my motif, with a standing um, extended double crochet. So this is going to be extended double crochets. It's an alternative to a triple crochet. I just find it neater and that's why I included that in my pattern. So we're just going to yarn over one time and I'm hanging on to these two loops with my, my index finger over here. So they don't go anywhere. And we're going to pull up a loop in our first chain one space. We're going to yarn over, go through one loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That is an extended double crochet. It's different in the sense that you're not yarning over twice to start the triple crochet. What you're doing is just yarning over three times. The first time you're just going to go through one loop, the second time two loops, and the third time two loops. So let's do that again. Yarn over, go insert into your space, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Again, I start all my motifs with the side, which is just three extended double crochets. So pull up our loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So each of our sides are going to have four chains on each side. So I'm going to chain four, two, three, four, hop into our next chain one space and make a corner cluster. And that is three extended double crochets, chain eight, three extended double crochets. One for the right side and one for the left side. Let's make our right side. So I'm yarning over, going into our next chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Two more times. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, go into that same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. This is our right side cluster, corner cluster. We're going to chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, every corner has eight. Every side will have four. Two, two sets of four before and after the side cluster. So we're going to yarn over and make our left side corner cluster of three extended double crochets. Okay, that's our first one. Our second one. And our third one. So we are done with the corner because we're alternating. It's going to be corner, side, corner, side, corner, side. So remember, when we're making a side, it's always going to be four chains in the front of the, before your side cluster and after. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, hop into our next chain one space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. We have to make two more of these to complete our side cluster. Okay. So we have our four chains in front of the side cluster, we have our three extended double crochets, and now we have to make the other four. Hop into our next chain space and make your second corner cluster, starting with the right side. Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, over, go through two. one more. So yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, two. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then come back to that same chain one space and make your other side, your left side cluster of three extended double crochets. That's one, two, 
Now that's it. Those corners are a cluster, chain eight, a cluster. Now we're doing a side. We're going to chain four, do our cluster, chain four. One, two, three, four. Go into our next chain one space. Make three extended double crochets for our side cluster. Two, three. We're going to chain four, two, three, four. Now we're done with our side. Now we're moving on to make our third corner cluster, starting with the right side, making three extended double crochets. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to finish the other side of that corner cluster in the same chain one space. So that's one, two extended double crochets, and then our last one to finish our third corner cluster. Okay, now right aside, so we know we have to chain four first. One, two, three, four. Go into our next chain one space and make and three extended, <clears throat> excuse me, extended double crochets for our side cluster. One, two, three, and then we have to finish our side with four chains. Now we are at our last corner, yarn over. Go and pull up our loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Repeat that two more times. Okay, chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to come back to that same chain, chain one space and make the left side corner cluster of three extended double crochets. Two, three. Okay? Now remember we started with the cluster in chain four, so we have to make the other chain four before the cluster. And this is where you might forget and you might just go ahead and slip to join just out of habit. So try to remember to do that. And check your um check your rounds after every round, I strongly suggest you doing that. There were a couple of times where I had to take it apart. I had even sewn in ends because I wasn't double checking. So make sure that you always have eight double crochets in your first round, eight sets of two double crochets in your second round, and make sure that you always have four corners with eight chains, I mean corner clusters, and then make sure you always have, let's see if I can do this, four sides with a chain four in front and after your side clusters. That will save you a whole lot of work and then, you know, sewing your ends. I've been sewing them in as I go. So let me go ahead and get the other a motif ready to show you how to join the, your first side. All right, so. I went on ahead and sewed in my ends and now we're going to start attaching. I'm going to do the frames in three different frames. I'm going to show you how to attach one side and then continue finishing your motif. And then I'm going to show you how to uh, do your attaching two sides and then finish your motif. And then the third frame is going to show you how to attach three sides. Um, so what I did is just went on ahead and just made all my two round motifs to get them out the way. Now all I do is just need to pick out in which order I want to attach them. I made sure I had eight double crochets in the first round separated by a chain one and I made sure I had 16 sets of two double crochets in the second round separated by a chain. That's really important. So what you're going to need is 15 motifs for the front and 15 for the second. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this motif. And what I like to do is, let me see if I can get this frame here. 
a little closer. Okay. So what I like to do is attach one side at a time. And I like to st um, start with this side. Whoops, looks like I forgot to do that one. The side there, uh, cut off the, the ends there. You can do that later. So what you'll do is you'll grab your attaching color and you can start in any chain one space. And I kind of alternate with chaining uh, four, um, fastening on and chaining four, and then doing the all standing uh, double crochet to fasten on. But this time I'm just going to do the standing extended double crochet. So that is up to you. You don't have to do this on my way, but that's how I'm going to do it for the video. So we're just going to go ahead and start with one extended double crochet. And as you, long as you're hanging on to all loops, really secure right here on your hook, they shouldn't slip through. So that's one extended double crochet, two, three. Okay? So I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to come over here. And I like to have my motifs on top or off to the side a little bit. And that's totally up to you on how you want to attach yours. So I generally go into in the chain eight space of your attaching motif, pull up a loop. Some people also call this a slip stitch. Oops, wait a minute, got ahead of myself. What we do is we start the first corner, the right side corner. So go ahead and make three extended half double crochets for your right side cluster corner. Okay? And then we're only going to chain four. Two, three, four. And then we're going to come over here and inside here, just pull up our loop, go in, go in from the front and pull up from the bottom. And then we're going to finish that eight chains with five, six, seven, eight. So we're still doing the chains. We're just in the middle of them connecting and joining. So we're going to yarn over and come back here to the same chain one space and finish our left side of our uh, corner cluster with three extended double crochets. That's two and that's three. So we're going to attach one side. So for all these, the eights, the four here, the four here, and the eight, we're going to divide in half and then join our motif. So here I'm going to chain two, go in from the top, pull up our loop, three, four, come back to your working uh, motif, and in that next chain one space, make your side cluster of three extended double crochets. Okay, so we still have our four in front of our side. We're going to still have four on the other side, but we have to divide it in half. One, two, and then join. Pull up our loop. Three, four. Come back. Go into your next chain one space and make your other corner. Your second corner. So we're going to make the right side corner with three extended double crochets. That's two, that's three, chain one, two, three, four, because we're still attaching the side, and then go in the front, out of the, out the back, pull up our loop, five, six, seven, eight. You know, and you can rotate or pivot your pieces um, in a manner whichever makes you comfortable. We're going to come back into that same chain one space and make the left side corner with three double extended double crochets. Okay, so see how we've attached those? Okay, so that's the one side. That's the only side we're attaching. Now we're just going to come back here and do, in our next chain one space, continue the pattern with another side. Two, three, four. We, we chain the full four because we're not attaching anything. And then make your side cluster. Okay. 
one, two, three, and then chain four, because we're not attaching anything, so you do the full chain. And then in our next chain one space, we'll make our third um, extended double crochet corner. The right side with three extended double crochets, chain two, come back in that same chain one space and make the left side cluster of three extended double crochets. Okay, so I'm going to finish this corner and then I'm also going to attach another motif, maybe this one or this one, not sure. And I'm going to do this one right here. Once I do this, we're going to turn our work around and then I'll show you how to do the other side. These, are, these rounds are going to be in V's, by the way. Just a side note here, I just kind of want to explain how the pattern is worked up. So we, when I say rounds, we're going one, two, three. They're V stitches, kind of, um, and that's one. This one is two. That one is three. The first round has three motifs. The second one has five, and then the last one is seven. That gives us 15. We times that by two sides, the front and back, and that will give us 30 motifs. Um, if you work in the round, um, I think it's more easier if you want to do one side first and then do the other side. That is totally up to you. Whatever is going to help you um, understand the pattern. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so I have finished attaching my first round on one side. We are going to work this pattern from right to left. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is turn my work around so the inside is facing me. And I'm going to attach this motif, and this helps me just by doing that and folding it. Or you could just do that, attach this one, and then you would take, you know, fold it and make sure you're attaching to the right side of the one that you attached. Attach this one, and then you can fold it again. You can rotate this any way that's going to help you. Um, but by the time I come back, we'll have the top ones attached. So we'll have three on one side, three on the other and uh, show you how to move on to round two and also how to join two sides. Okay, so we have attached our um, six on both sides. I've attached this first one because um, that one's only one side to attach. Now it's time to attach two sides. So I've went on ahead and started my motif, my second one for round two. I've done my three extended double crochets for my first side, a chain four in the right side corner of right side cluster corner and also chain four. So now what I'm going to do is join um, at our first corner five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I'm going to come back to my working square. This is going to be my working square, and this is going to be my attaching square. And to make my left side corner cluster of three extended double crochets. That's one. Oops. Two. three okay so we're still attaching so that means my sides are going to be cut in half as well as my corners chain one two go into your chain four space on your attaching square pull up a loop three four our fourth chain come back to your working square and make a side cluster of three extended double crochets That's one, two, three, still attaching, so we're going to chain two, pull up our loop or slip stitch, three, four, come back to our working uh, motif, I think I just called it square, so, sorry about that, and then make our right side corner cluster of three extended double crochets, one, two, 
three. We're going to chain four because we're still attaching. So we're going to we're going to divide our eight chains in half. Two, three, four. And when you're attaching your third and fourth square, or even one one side, you're always going to attach to the diagonal um, square. I mean motif. Here I go again. Sorry about that. Just in granny mode, I guess. Not used to working with cotton. I just bought this white a little while, a um, couple days ago, so I'm not sure why it's dividing like that. So then we're going to go to this chain eight space in the diagonal square and then just pull up our loop. You might have to do it off to the side, otherwise, you have a big cluster. Five, six, seven, eight. And remember, I said we'll be rotating our, our motifs. And then come back to that same chain one space. I'm just checking the camera here. And make that left side corner cluster of three extended double crochets. So one. Oops. Two. Three. Okay, so we're still attaching, so we are going to chain two and then go right into the chain four space of your attaching square, pull up our loop or slip stitch, three, four, finish that four stitch count, chain count, come back to your next chain one space and make your first side on your working square of three extended double crochets. Two. Three, still attaching, chain two, pull up our loop, three, four, and I'm just going to keep rotating my piece here. Come back to your next chain one space and it's time for a corner. And that's three, we're going to make our right side of three extended double crochets. That's one, two, three, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, Four because we're still attaching go into the chain eight space right across from it or next to it pull up our loop five six seven eight so now I have my poncho upside down I'm still coming back to that same chain one space Let's see and finish that left side uh, corner cluster of three extended double crochets. That's one, two, three. Whoops. Two, three. I was counting my yarn overs here and not the actual actual extended double crochets. Okay, so that's how you attach two corners. I'm just going to finish this with the side and a corner and then when I get down here and I have to attach three squares, I will meet you back so I can show you how to do that. All right, so there's an instance right here where you're gonna have to attach three sides. So I've already attached one. I'm finishing up my second side, which I've already um, shared with you. Um, now I just came back here. I'm gonna chain my, um, I've already chained two. Now I gotta come back here and chain, oh, I'm sorry, make my other corner. So I'm going to chain two because I've already connect uh, joined, joined, not joined. So I'm going to make the right side of my cluster, and these are the motifs that are at the shoulder area. So in that second round, um, when you join those, because I started here and I went all the way around, I turned my work, the, and then coming when you come to join is when you're going to get to that. Uh, the three sides where you got to join and again we're looking for our square that's diagonal which in this case is going to be this one right there so I'm looking for the chain eight which is right here corner chain eight so I can pull pull up a loop and then finish my uh, chain eight five six seven eight come back to my working square finish the left side of the corner up three extended double crochets no. 
and then chain two because we are still connecting we're still joining as long as we're joining we have to get um we have to multiply we have to divide them I'm, I'm sorry we have to divide our chains on our sides and corners in half so i chain two uh pulled up a loop three four come back to my working motif and um, do my last side of three um, extended double crochets just like we've been doing now, now I'm just gonna just keep rotating my work because it's easier for me to work this way go into the chain four space of the attaching motif three four now I'm coming back here and then doing my last corner again that's three extended double crochets chain four two three four I'm going to attach to this neighboring chain eight pull up a loop five six seven eight and then come back here to our working square and finish up the left side corner cluster of three extended double crochets one Two, oops, three, and then we're not attaching to anything, so we do the do we make the full four chains two, three, four. Slip to join at the top of your first extended double crochet, and then cut your work. So now we have two, two rounds done. Now we're going to go to the third. So I'll meet you back at the end of the third. I also wanted to give you guys a tip. Um, because I did my, um, my center motifs ahead of time, I just wanted to be sure I didn't have like too much of one color in one area. You can take like some stick pins right here and then just put them on top. And, you know, that way you know which ones are going. Like this last row is going to have seven. We're going to always have one under the one on top. And then this row right here all the way down is going to grow as well. But that's just a tip. All right, so I have um, finished my poncho. I've sewn in the ends. There's the front. And there's the back. And now quickly I just want to show you how to make fringes. Or at least how I do. Um, if some of you um, have seen some of my other videos, I always use my cell phone. And what I do is I just grab the bottom of it right here. And then I pull it around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I will cut at the bottom here. And what I choose to do, and you can use more strands if you want. But for each motif side, I use the two corners right here. Let me make sure I'm getting in this. The two corners right here. One, two, three, four. Not this one. One, two, three, four. So we're just going to go all the way around like that. And I just use two strands. I take my crochet hook. I insert it in this in the space I'll pull the yarn through the space yarn over and pull it through it's two strands which comes out to four because it doubles and then when I'm done doing that I finish up with I tie it one more time for security and I'm going to do that for each space so I'm going to finish that up and I will be back with the finished product okay Here's the finished product. There are my fringes. Again, I only uh, did two strands for a total of four after you fold them. Um, I did not choose to make a uh, single crochet row. I, I really just like this rustic look right here. I think it looks perfect. I did want to suggest if you find yourself, I had about 15, 20 colors included, including some variegated here left over from projects and some were new 
if you find yourself with the color black and you can't like put together any uh, any colors color combos I started thinking about holidays so like I got this one was his light green and red for Christmas I thought was thinking about Halloween for that one these two sets of greens I was thinking about St. Patrick's Day some pastels for like Easter and um, turning it over this blue and red for like 4th of July just you know it just helped me get the rest of the uh, motifs the center motifs that I wanted to again that's just an, a suggestion I do want to uh, say a share a disclosure statement um, which I try to share anyway at the end of my videos but my disclosure statement is I am NOT a professional videographer I do not have a professional camera I record off of my tablet I welcome constructive comments as I am a whip in videology cruel and vicious comments just will not be tolerated life is too short so my apologies if I was confusing please always check the information box for further clarification I always appreciate everybody's patience um, and I did want to give you a sneak preview of my next project and it is Forky from Toy Story 4 so if you want to be notified of when this gets uploaded please click subscribe I would appreciate if you guys shared the video like the video give it a thumbs up and um, one more thing I don't know if you saw this on the fringes but when I did these I did the fringes in the same color as the uh, oops I think my granddaughters are wearing this the same color as the motif the uh, the connecting color which gives it you know a little more pizzazz so I did want to share that um, again I appreciate everybody's patience and together let's continue to crochet it forward bye now